All right, so the next one we want to talk about and the last like artistic idea we want to talk about is post-processing effects and layering. And these are the last things you do in your comp. Um, and it's glows, it's things that are happening in the lens, um, stuff like that. So let's talk about a couple of them. So one would be called bloom. So if we have a really bright scene, uh, I've kind of overexposed the scene and created some bloom. What is bloom? It's kind of, it could be kind of smudging that's in your lens. It's kind of something that happens when it's overexposed and kind of it's a, it's a, it's like a broad glow coming from a brighter light source. So this is what bloom looks like. Uh, you'll see that uh, it's coming over the trees. So we know that the real world, the light is not in front of the trees. So when we're this bloom, logically, it's not in front of the trees in real life. That's not a volume of smoke here. Um, that's something else. You know, if there's some mist in the air, there might be some light, but that's not the same thing. This is bloom. So bloom is happening inside the lens, inside the camera. Uh, it can happen in your eyes as well. It can be kind of a glow. So you need to, you need to understand that glows or any post-processing effect is the last thing to happen. Um, so, so nothing can go over the top of this glow. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. Uh, by that but that's bloom and what it looks like we also have one that looks similar to bloom but it's not the same it's called lens diffusion and a way you can create this is just basically blurry your picture and then just uh, merge it back over itself as a screen you can even do it over it doesn't make a difference and then just mix it down uh, very very low and uh, that would be kind of if your lens has some kind of smudges on it um, and there's a little bit of light kind of scattering across the surface of the glass. So that would be lens diffusion. It's not exactly the same because um, lens dif diffusion is just overall um, kind of blurring effect being added over the top. Uh, whereas bloom is really, um, it's more in the highlights and it's kind of creating a glow from the highlights. They look similar, but they're not the same. And sometimes you can use both. Um, but we're not adding anything fake to our shot. So we're not gonna be doing those, uh, but it's good to know about them. Uh, so the other thing we need to understand, what I said uh, just a couple seconds ago, I said that glows are happening in the lens. So objects never pass in front of a glow. Uh, so because it's happening last, it's not happening in the real world. So if we look at this, this would never happen. If we have a glowing object like this, uh, the glow itself, you know, this, the glow, the, 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 the effect coming off, that's not something that is in the atmosphere around the object. It's something happening optically in the camera or in your eye. Um, and it's just from the light kind of scattering and bouncing around in, imperfectly. Um, so so this, this, this glow would not look like this in real life. How it would look is like this. So if we have our glowing object and we have an object in front, we see that the glow is actually wrapping around the object in front. And that's just because it's an optical illusion basically with our eyes. Um, so that's really, really important to know is like, you know, if you're adding a glow, you know, like we do in our car scene, the smoke that we add after, you know, we don't want the smoke to be going over the top of the glow. We want the smoke to cut away from the object uh, but the glow would wrap around it like this. So just remember, that's wrong, that's right. So don't ever, if you're ever adding some, if you're ever putting an object in front and you see your glow is behind, you need to make that glow wrap. And that's what the light wrap node is for. There's another way to do this instead of using a light wrap. Um, so we have a radio here and we have the second object placed over the top. And instead of having the glow underneath and then wrapping a second, uh, you know, for example, we have the, the glowing object underneath and then we put an object over and then we put light wrap, the light wrap effect to get that. Instead of doing that, there's another way to do it would be just putting the second object over and then you do a luminance key and you key out the object. So you get the object, but also with the cutout of the object in front. And then we would pre-multiply that and glow it. And you see automatically that glow is in the shape wrapping around our object that's in front. So if we plus that back over, you see that the glow um, 
is in the shape of of this, you know. So it's not the same as that. That's wrong. This is right. Uh, it still looks a little bit weird. So maybe you want to add an extra light wrap just to get the um, the very hot edge. So if this is a very bright object, the glow would be quadratic. It would be falling off quadratically. I talk about that in my photo uh, real compositing class as well about quadratic fall off. If you guys are interested, you can take that class. If you haven't. Um, but this is uh, this helps that sell that illusion as well. So I put that light wrap as well, and it just helps blend the edge into the other object. And so either of these are right. You know, if we look at this one, uh, or we look at this one, they look a little bit different. I actually like this one better. Uh, this one seems to fall off a little bit too much um, here. So this one seems a little bit more realistic. Um, you can see this one's less. This one's less quadratic it's kind of too I don't know if you look at the difference this one just looks better so you know play around and you know you can even practice just creating that scene yourself just try to get the glow um, wrapping around the an object in front I just did it with two you know spheres it's really it's very simple um, and the exponential glow node will be provided to you if you don't already have it in the script uh, at the top of the script so that'll be there